Helen, do you have any idea how to get inside the church? Try the door, dear. Thanks. I can't get through such a sturdy door. I'll have to find a different entry to the church. It's locked. Scaffolding almost fell down on me. I'll have to go about things more gently. Something's telling me that uh, that if uh, that if I heave as much as I can. Damn, that was close. Almost cut my ear off. I'll take the lethal weapon with me. I won't leave it lying around just like that. Here we go. Helen, step back. There'll be splinters flying everywhere. Oh! Wait for me here, honey. I'll try to find Reverend Brown. Don't take too long. Father! Reverend Brown! Are you here? Okay. I'll have a look around. Something's lying here. Hey, that's a shard of glass. found something. Hey, that's a shard of glass. Something's lying here. I found something. Something's lying here. Hey, that's a shard of glass. I found something. Something's lying here. Are you all right? Reverend! Damn. He prayed himself to death.
What have we got here? I see Reverend Brown's private collection. I can see a bottle of rum. A few bottles. Doesn't look like sacramental wine. A packet of cards. Hmm. Nothing interesting. A key. Look, there's a letter under the key. The museum is immensely grateful for the mask, a priceless artifact you donated. As a modest expression of our gratefulness, please visit this amazing relic as often as you like. The museum will always be open for you, dear Reverend Brown. So, let's go to the museum. I've already got the key. I can't find anything else here. Quickly, off to Helen. So Father Brown is dead, and the mask is in the museum. So, let's go downtown and collect the mask. I'm sure they'll lend it to us, since it belonged to your uncle. It'll be night before we get there, but that's fine. After all, I've got the key to the museum. So what are we waiting for? You know, it might be dangerous. I'll drop you off at Kid's place, and I'll run there on my own, okay? Oh. It's nice that you're so concerned for me. Not a soul around. I'm gonna have to sneak into the museum somehow. A very sturdy door. No, oh, I left the axe at the church. I hope the key fits. In we go. Ladies, this is not a practice. Sophie here will go through the plan with you. Most illegal entries are planned to enter through the porthole in Sector C, so Maria will move right over there. Roger! Exactly. Every 30 minutes, a thorough inspection of the porthole will be carried out. Helga's task is to secure the ancient Flint Exposition with barbed wire. Not even a mouse can get in. And me. That intruder in Sector A, emergency! come for Leopold's mask, right? Yeah, well, a man exchanged it for drinks or lost it playing cards with the Reverend. And the Reverend. So? What's the matter with old Brown? Well, he's, um, he's no longer with us. No wonder, really. That idiot sinned so much that every time he started praying, he forgot about everything else. He would pray for days on end. Yeah, he overdid it a bit this time. Anyway, uh, I, I found the key to the museum with a letter. Quickly, to the mask now. 
Honey, are you all right? I'm real sorry that I didn't listen to you, but I wanted to help so much. Everything's all right now. Where's the mask? A cabinet. An art collection from an unknown author on his deathbed. Yeah, well, that's fitting. Yuck, what an ugly face. I don't know what that is. Probably from St. Underseat or something like that. cabinet with glass. And here on the card it says, don't touch the items in the cabinet. Just what I said, a cabinet. And here on the card it says, don't touch the items in the cabinet. Just what I said, a cabinet. I'm throwing my cigarette out. It says here, just a moment, yeah, now this is interesting. One can't say how much one can learn in a museum. <laughs> really interesting. A prototype of a freshwater submarine from Jurgen from Kaczynski's collection. They messed it up or something. That's probably a tadpole strainer, huh? A giant hamburger produced on the occasion of the grand opening of the local grocery store. A stone. Shatras Epescus. An interesting stone. Yes, the stone is truly fascinating. It's some kind of a mask. Looks like my Uncle Eugene. My distant cousin had to wear something like this. She was so ugly she couldn't go out otherwise. The mask of the Indian god of laughter. People would die of laughter around the person who wore it. Uh, literally. Uh, demonic thing. Helga was improving the security system a bit, but her fingers are not in the best shape anymore, so you'll have to open it yourself. And how does it work? Ah, uh -huh. it's a unique thing. You stretch this cue and it starts hitting the colored ball straight down. If you set it up correctly, the balls will go into the right pockets according to the colors. Then it opens. Uh -huh. A wonderful mask. 
May I have a look at it? It's yours. Just look after it and go now, or we won't sleep a wink. Maria, were we going to sleep? Metaphorically. <laughs> go on, go now. Thanks for everything. And I really apologize for the fight. Don't apologize, son. I haven't had such a lovely practice for a long time. Well, what now? My uncle told me to get it, but uh, he didn't tell me what to do next. Put the mask on. Yeah, good idea. Come on, Johnny. Oh, yeah, great. Really suits you. You can use it on the Mafia. They'll be so scared, they'll return the casino to you. Wait. The map. Who's got it? Yes. Uh, here it is. Wait. I can see something. Here. Look! That's an old graveyard. Damn it. What's wrong? Mmm. Graveyard built on site of ancient Indian burial ground. Oh, now you're making some sense. Okay, I'll take a little bit of fire water and have a chat with Manitou. I would not mention fire water, because that is to blame. Once we played poker with Father Brown, sick sacramental wine, and we had idea to invoke my friends from beyond the grave with this shamanic spell. To see, oh chief, good at poker. And two, not enough to play cards. So, we thought that... Wow, you can contact the dead? I can, unfortunately. I got a little bit out of control. And since Graveyard haunted by the undead, we didn't even get to play poker in the end. And I just can't remember how to revoke spells. Okay, I have an exterminator of the undead here. Catch, Johnny! All right. Who can tell me how to get to the graveyard? And Helen, no excuses this time. I'm going alone. Not like in the museum. Sorry, Johnny. I wanted to help you so much. Are you angry with me? Oh, on the contrary. I love you so much that I wouldn't survive losing you. Oh. And how do I get there? I'll take you all the way to the old mines. You'll find your way from there.